Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I don't know what you think of when you think of heaven. And um, somebody asked me the other day at a facility if I knew the song, I Can Only Imagine. And so I tried that for them. Um, but that is how it is. We can only imagine what heaven will be like. And no matter how much we talk about it or think about it, we really don't know. But the one thing that I can say is what we read in the Word of God, it makes us have a desire uh, to be there. In chapter 21 of the book of Revelation, the scripture says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And here's one of my favorite parts of this this whole scene and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away so let's look at that just for a minute there will be no more tears there will be no more death there will be no more sorrow. There will be no more pain. All of those things, pain, sorrow, death, can all bring tears. They can all bring crying. Uh, but there will be none of those things. And so there will be no need uh, to cry. No need for that. When uh, when I was in um, Chicago years ago, I worked there for about a week. And I remember being so homesick. And I'd only been there for a week, but being so homesick for, uh, for my family. Our kids were young and, and to be back with them. And... Uh, I'd never been really away from home, so I didn't understand how it felt to be homesick. I remember I had a Sunday school teacher once who said, uh, how can you be homesick for a place you've never been? Uh, but the scripture basically says that we are not citizens of this country, but we are looking for another city whose builder and maker is God. And so this world is not our home. We are only passing through and so one day we will be uh, where there will be no more death there will be no more sorrow there will be no more sickness there will be no more pain and there will be no more crying we're not there yet i'm sure all of us have experienced times when we didn't have tears because we didn't have death and sorrow and sadness and pain but then i'm sure we've all had times of death and sadness and sorrow and pain. I shared this story before, but I think about it often. We would vacation uh, in Myrtle Beach, and we did that for about seven years or so before moving there. And I would tell Teresa as we were driving down Kings Highway there in Myrtle Beach, which was going to be, for four and a half years, was going to be our, our, uh, our home. And I would tell her, I would say, you know, if we lived here, I would probably be singing in that rest home. and I'd probably do funerals at that funeral home. and I would probably do burials at this graveyard. And, and that's all that I could see from right there uh, on the King's Highway. Well, sure enough, we moved there. And sure enough, I sang at those rest homes. I did funerals at those funeral homes and at a cemetery right by Barefoot Landing, a, a pretty good resort area for vacationers. And I remember standing by the casket, seeing the family grieve the loss of their loved one, but just over beyond that, seeing Barefoot Landing and know that there were vacationers that had spent a week and their money 
that they had saved all year long to come to that one place to have a great time. So sadness was here and just beyond were families enjoying a great time. And, and it, it just burned and impressed in my mind that sadness is here on this earth, but one day beyond this life, we will be where there will be no more death and dying and sickness and pain and crying. This song says, Homesick to Go. It's kind of a high song. Um, I could do it somewhere else, but I choose to try it here, so we'll see how it goes. Henson song. I love the Hensons. All my life I've heard them talk of heaven. It's a place where loved ones live while angels roll. And it's been many, many years since sins forgive. And I'm just a little homesick to go. Yesterday brought tears and made me wonder if I'd ever walk upon those streets of gold. Oh, Lord, you gave me strength I didn't blunder And I'm just a little homesick to go But must I wait until the sun dries up the ocean Till the farmer goes to reap before he sows. I set my eyes on the skies for the slightest motion. And I'm just a little homesick to go. But must I? Dries up the ocean Or till the farmer goes to reap Before he sows I set my eyes on the sky For the slightest motion Cause I'm just a little home to go Oh Lord I'm just a little homesick to go Lord I thank you for the day you've given us and God I thank you for the opportunity to look into your word Lord and to have a desire to be somewhere one day where there will be no more sickness, death, dying, sorrow, crying. All those things will be gone. The former things will be passed away. All things will be new and for that we're thankful. We're thankful we have the opportunity to spend eternity with you. We love you Lord and we thank you in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you folks and I'll see you Saturday morning.